Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another fall look, but I wanted to keep this very simple, very everyday, and just really easy. And I've actually been getting a lot of DMs from y'all and comments saying, can you do a really simple fall look one and done, like something that I can wear to work or to school or just a way that I can switch up my makeup routine without doing a full on smoky eye or a really bold dark lip. And I think this is a nice little nod to the fall season. It's a little bit more festive, but it doesn't take a lot of time. Y'all know I love a good quick and easy makeup look. And this is definitely something that I'm going to be wearing from day to day. So without further ado, grab your makeup if you wanna get ready with me, if you're going to work or school or wherever you're going for the day, you can grab your makeup and do your makeup with me. If not, sit back, relax, grab a drink, grab a snack. I'm actually just sipping on some cold brew from Costco. I'm drinking it black this morning. It's just one of those days and let's go and get into it. So for foundation, I thought I would pull out something super lightweight, very dewy, just very hydrating, kind of a skincare makeup hybrid, and that is my Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. Um, I've kind of been avoiding this over the summertime just because it's been so hot. Now, let's not kid ourselves, it is still very hot here in Texas, but if it was cooler and it was a, a nice brisk fall day, this is a fantastic foundation and I actually prefer it when it is a little bit colder outside. I feel like my skin can handle it. Also, my skin is quite dry at the moment just from my skincare routine. So I'm feeling like my skin needs a little extra moisture. So I have the shades ST10 and ST12. I think I'm gonna start with ST10. And if you're not familiar with this foundation, I do have a full review on it. If you're curious, it, I did the review when it launched, so it's a little bit of an older video. Oh, you know what? Actually, ST12, I think, is going to be the better match. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to my face, and then I'm actually going to use a brush. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a Sigma Beauty Bird Dream Curved Kabuki Brush. I could actually, probably mixing the two would be the best shade match for me. So I'm gonna do that on the other side. I'm gonna add a little bit of ST10 to this side and then I'll mix the two on the other side. I feel like ST10 is a tad light, ST12 is a tad dark. So I think the mix together will be perfect. Yeah, so you can see just how glowy this product is. It's pretty intense. Um, which is why I prefer it when it's a little bit colder outside or my skin is just feeling a little bit more dry. So for concealer, I'm going to take my Nude Sticks concealer. I've been loving this. This is so good. Um, I'm using this in the shade 5. I usually go anywhere between 4 to 5. And it just wears really well. It blends out so nicely. And yeah, I've just been really, really loving this. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contour. I'm gonna take my Kai Padami contour palette. This is in the shade dark. And I'm gonna start with this shade right here. And I am gonna go over this with a powder bronzer. But um, yeah, I just like to layer my, my bronzers. Not necessary, it's just what I like to do. All right, I'm gonna dip a tiny bit into this deeper shade and just apply that right to the very, very backs of my cheekbones. And I'll just take my sponge and blend that out. All right, and then I'm gonna take my Milk Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder and set my whole face. And then for powder bronzer, I'm gonna go in with one that has a little bit more shimmer to it. This is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer in the shade Sun Swept. I'm just gonna take it on a really big fluffy brush and just apply that right on top of that cream bronzer I already applied, just keep it high, don't drag it down. But I am applying this a little bit more liberally. All right, and then for blush, I'm gonna take my Mob Beauty Blush. This is the shade M19, right here. 
And I'm just going to pop that right on the apples. It's a nice warm matte blush. And then just for a tiny bit more glow, this is not necessary. Honestly, we have so much glow going on on our face just with all the products that we've been using. I mean, just that Ilia skin tint gives me so much glow. But I just want to add a little bit of this. And uh, this is the One Day Beauty Skin Dew. Uh, this is in the shade Rosé. Get my finger in there. I've used up quite a bit of this. And just pat that right on the high points. Wow, we are glowing today. All right, so the eyes are gonna be super easy. We're just doing a good old one and done look. I actually got a ton of requests to do a one and done fall look, just something very simple, easy. A great way to switch up your makeup look for the new season, but not really take a lot more time. So there are several really fantastic one and done eyeshadows out there that would look that would work great for this look. I will link below my one and done eyeshadow video. I swatch and apply all of my favorite one and done eyeshadows. So if this one is not really your cup of tea, definitely check out the other ones. Um, but I thought this was the perfect fall color. And this is the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow in the shade Element. This is one of my favorite shades in the line. I don't love all of the shades. I think there are inconsistencies with the formula within this range, but this shade and Globe are my two favorites. They are beautiful, so if you're going to try anything from the 10 second eyeshadow line, I would definitely go for Element or Globe. Um, but you want to give these a good shake. I have done a video on these as well on how to apply them and everything, so I'll link that below if you're curious because they are... they're a little bit finicky to work with. They're so incredibly watery that you have to kind of be careful with them, but they're really beautiful. So it just comes on this little doe foot applicator and you have plenty of time to work with these so you don't have to stress. But I'm just going to take this all over the lid. I'll start with that much. Um, I don't want to apply too much because I don't want it to get too intense and dark. And then I'm just going to take this little Lila B brush and spread it around. It's very thin so it's really easy to blend out basically requires no skill and I just thought this tone was so pretty for the fall and then I'm just using my finger to blend out the edges just to soften them up and I'm gonna apply some to my lower lash line and then just blend it out with that same brush and that's all there is to it so so easy. Now one other step you could do if you needed help blending it out or you just wanted it to be a little bit more smoky, you could take your bronzer, take that through the crease. You could even take your blush and take that through the crease. Um, you could also add a little bit of your highlight and apply that to the center of the lid for a little bit more sparkle, um, a little bit more dimension, but I just love this on its own. It's so beautiful. Maybe I will take a little bit of my bronzer, just a tiny bit on that fluffy brush, um, just to take it up more to the brow. But yeah, I just, I love the way this eyeshadow looks and I think it really doesn't need anything. It's so pretty on its own. So gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead, curl my lashes, apply mascara that takes me quite a while. So I'm going to do it off camera and I'm just going to use my two Ilia mascaras, the Limitless Lash. I apply a nice solid coat of that and then I go on top with the fullest volumizing mascara just for a little bit more intensity, a little more drama. So I'm going to do that off camera and then we'll come back and I've got a really fun more natural fall lip, but it's still got some color to it. I'm actually really excited because it's brand new. So I'll be right back. Mascara is on. And then I also applied a little bit of liner. This is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Eyeliner in Copper. I just ran that in my waterline. It's basically the same color as my eyeshadow. So I just wanted to kind of run that through the waterline. You could do a nude liner, brown liner, whatever you want. Um, all right, so for the lips, this is actually new from Fit Glow, and I thought it would be the perfect lip for this look. It's so perfect for fall time. So they came out with a new um, lip serum. Hello? 
Uh, Y'all know how much I love these. Really, just really unique formula. Honestly, the new Rare Beauty Gloss Balms, I can't remember the exact name, remind me a ton of this formula. Um, but yeah, they came out with a new shade called Jam, and it looks really intense in the bottle, but it's actually a nice kind of like berry stained color, which I think is so pretty. And then I'm not sure if this is new, but they sent it with the serum, the lip serum. This is their lip pencil in the shade Root. This is such a pretty color. So that's Root and then that's uh, Jam. And I'm basically just gonna do a wash of this because I don't want the full color. I'm just gonna really press this into my lips. So as you can see, like it looks very dark, but then on the lips, it just kind of gives a little a berry. What a great lip combo for fall. I think this is the perfect amount of color to say, yes, I am in the fall spirit. I've got my fall lip but it's still very comfortable, it's easy to wear, easy to apply, and it's not too overwhelming. And I think it looks really good with this eye look, like super easy, but you still are, you're still a little bit more festive with your makeup. And I love this, I love this combo. It's so pretty and such a unique, unique color. All right guys, that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found this helpful. If you've been wanting, to transition your makeup more into um, maybe a little bit more fall, a little bit more seasonal. I think this is a great way to do it. It's super easy. It doesn't require really any extra time, but it's just a nice little nod to the new season. And this is definitely something that I'm gonna be wearing a lot. I love this. I love this lip. I love this eye and it's just so quick and easy, which is a bonus. So thank you so much for being here with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are worth